everyone, Michael here. We're back on the streets of Istanbul for another food adventure. My favorite thing about the food scene here in Istanbul is that it runs the gamut from delicious, affordable street food all the way to beautiful restaurants that resemble the palaces of the Ottoman Empire. Today, we're going to experience the full range of them. You're going to have three meals at three very different price points. We're going to spin a wheel to determine our fate. I'm very hungry for breakfast, so let's spin that wheel for the first time and see what we are having for breakfast. Okay, so we're having a street food breakfast. I think I have an idea of what we're going to do already. Come with me. Morning. Um, do a one semit uh, Nutella. Yep. Thank you. Check your ID. Yep. Yep. I got a semit. You may remember it from our street food video, last one. It's a, sort of a Turkish style bagel. It's got sesame seeds on it. I decided to get it with Nutella. When I got it in the last one, I just got it plain and I wasn't crazy about it. It was a little bit stale for me. Cheers. Definitely better than the last one. They're probably a little fresher in the morning and we're out here. You know, with the Nutella, it adds a nice sweetness. You get the really strong sesame seed flavor. It's a lot crunchier than a typical bagel. You probably heard me as I was chewing it. I, I can definitely see why, you know, people, Istanbul locals, like to grab these early in the morning for breakfast. It's quick. It gives you a nice carbohydrate <laughs> shot in the morning, and uh, it's very easy. Just grab them. They're low cost, and it's good. All right, so we've just finished breakfast. A few hours have passed, and now it's time for lunch. We already had a street breakfast, so let's spin the wheel to see if it's going to be a medium $2 sign lunch or a high-end lunch. Let's spin the wheel. Okay, so we are going in ascending order here. We're gonna have a middle, a medium, lunch. I think I know just the place. All you Agatha Christie fans will be proud. Follow me. So we've officially arrived at our destination for lunch, the Orient Express restaurant. This sort of 19th century style restaurant is an ode to the old Orient Express that rode here through Istanbul back in those days. They're supposed to serve up some of the best sort of, I wouldn't say higher end food, but it's a high end setting with some of your classic Turkish favorites. Can't wait to give it a try. Let's go. Hello. Uh, two. Yeah. We're going to share sautéed beef with mushrooms and casserole. They are filled with fresh fruit juice. Yes. Yep. I really love the environment here. A very sort of calm place. It's You're actually at the old train station. <laughs> We're actually at the real location of the Orient Express. You go around the corner, the train station is there. This in Bull, very historic. You kind of feel it, you know, you look at the sort of old-fashioned uh, artwork here. It feels very classy without feeling too overly fancy. Like, I don't feel out of place just wearing a polo shirt, <laughs> you know, I feel... Yeah, it feels good. It's a very comfortable place. I like it. The Orient Express was a long-distance train service that began operating in 1883. For nearly 100 years, the train traveled the entire length of continental Europe between Paris to the extreme west and Istanbul to the extreme east. However, service extended throughout the entirety of Europe. The train line's fame and intrigue grew even more following the publication of the murder mystery Murder on the Orient Express by English author Agatha Christie in 1934. As is typically the case here in Turkey. They uh, give us some bread, some olive oil. I'm not sure what this spice is. Uh, he told us to put it in the olive oil. Let's uh, give it a little taste first. Mm. It's good. I think we could put a little bit of it in the olive oil and uh, mix it up. All right. 
here. I like it, and I think we could add even more of that. It adds some really nice flavor to the olive oil. This, I don't know, this gives it a little something. Maybe it makes it a little bit, I don't want to say spicier, but almost gives it like an oregano-y kind of flavor, which I like very much. I ordered some fresh apple juice. Uh, fresh juices are very popular, I'm noticing, on the streets of Istanbul. Let's give this a try. Mm. Delicious, so refreshing tasting. Like it, it, it literally is some of the freshest apple juice I've ever had in my life. In America, fresh juice is not that big a thing. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Mm. We got sauteed beef with mushrooms. Smell is beautiful. Really smells amazing. It's not like this like stewy broth to it's kind of a casserole style. Take a look at all of that. Nice beef, mushrooms. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious. The beef, I barely even had to chew it. It was so tender. The mushrooms are so great, fresh tasting. I love beef and mushrooms together. This broth has so much flavor to it. You can see lots of fresh spices in there. You know, I can't quite tell, I can't quite place this. I don't know, this is probably parsley. It's fresh. It's just fresh. <laughs> cool. So that was a really cool lunch at a really cool place. Time to go back and digest for a little bit, and then we're gonna have our three dollar sign dinner. I'm gonna go get changed. So after a quick wardrobe change, I am all set and ready for dinner at Sarnich Fine Dining Restaurant. After seeing just the full range, just a street food cart, your sort of standard run-the-mill restaurant, we've come to this beautiful, gorgeous restaurant right near Sultan Ahmet Park here in Istanbul. I can't wait to enjoy some of Istanbul's finest food. Let's go. Ah, thank you. Ooh, beautiful. Wow. Beautiful, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, when does that start? All right, 8 o'clock, okay. Beautiful place. What do you know about the history of this restaurant, just out of curiosity? Oh, okay. So this was a water storage place in Istanbul, and now... How long, how long has the restaurant been around? It's 1,500 years old. So the space is at 1,500, yeah. but the restaurant itself? Yeah. Is it, it, no, no. It's converted to the restaurant since 1987. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So still a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. I can suggest it here. Uh, okay. Cool. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I will do salmon tartar, please. I'll do the uh, lamb shank. Mm -hmm. And uh, just a glass of lemonade to drink. Okay. This place is absolutely beautiful. I can't even describe how gorgeous it is. All these chandeliers, all this beautiful Ottoman artwork. Actually, I had a conversation with the hostess, and she was saying that this room is over 1,500 years old. This was a water storage facility back in the day. It got turned into this lovely restaurant in 1987, where it's been serving up some of Istanbul and Turkey's most elite. <laughs> this place is gorgeous and it's got some serious history to it. I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> I can ask what's been filmed here. Um, Turkish, Turkish okay, very, very interesting. Yeah. Perfect, got bread. What kind of butter is this? Brown butter. Brown butter. Ooh, thank you. So, as per usual here in Turkey, some nice warm bread to start things off. Let's try a bite. So fresh taste, honestly, like really, like tastes like it was just out of the oven. That's how it was described. Oh, it's soft. Wow. It's like truffle butter. This is delicious. I mean, we, we love truffles, the two of us, so absolutely love it. It's here. Oh, thank you very much. I got the lamb shank with uh, rice, Turkish rice and peas. I've been eating a lot of lamb since I got here to Turkey. It's so much better and fresher and a little less expensive <laughs> than in the U.S. I'm so excited for it. Let's dig in. 
shears. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Tender. There's an amazing sauce on here too. It's like a very like kind of thick gravy type sauce. It's fantastic. I think the sauce gives it a lot of flavor. Maybe the lamb by itself wouldn't have as much flavor, but with the sauce, it's just beautiful. Let's try some of this. I like the rice too. You feel that Turkish spice in the, with the rice. It's mixed with the peas nicely. I really like the rice. I like the spices with it. It's just got this like very overwhelming taste of the spices. We just finished our meal at Sarnich Fine Dining. It was an amazing experience. The place is just absolutely beautiful. It's a 1,500-year-old water storage facility that was turned into a restaurant back in 1987. The staff was really kind and friendly. And it was just this beautiful, intimate setting that sat us right by the fireplace. Uh, as far as the meals went, it was great. I got the lamb shank. It was really good and tender. My wife had salmon tartare. Uh, she said she really loved it. She especially loved it when she would eat it separate from the cucumbers it was wrapped around in. She said when it uh, was eaten all together, uh, you know, the cucumbers, I guess, were kind of hog it. But when it was all eaten separately, she said it was absolutely delicious. I also loved the bread. I think it was olive bread. And that was that. I mean, we had, as you saw, we had the full range of Istanbul food while we were here. We started off with a street food breakfast. We had a kind of middle-of-the-road lunch at the Orient Express restaurant. We finished off the evening at uh, this fine dining restaurant, the three for the three dollar signs. And you can just see the wide range of food you can have here in Istanbul. Definitely got to check this place out. That's it for us here in Istanbul. Thank you for joining us on all of our journeys while we were here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like. If you want to keep up with all of our content, please support us by subscribing and check us out for all of our adventures, both inside and outside the kitchen and inside and outside the US and across the world. For now, I cannot wait to see you next time.